If you're a business owner in the United States, then you know the dreaded feeling of forfeiting 30, 40, even 50% of your income when tax season comes around. The money you worked so hard to accumulate over the past year or quarter simply feels like it's going down the drain. You've accepted this as part of your life, but what if I told you it didn't have to be this way? What if there was a way to avoid these taxes legally and ethically? In this video, I'm going to reveal the under the radar strategy US entrepreneurs are using to slash their tax bills and pay virtually zero taxes on their business and personal income. And no, this is not some sort of video about hacks or write-offs that you've already heard a million times. This is actually a strategy that involves acquiring a second passport to reap the tax benefits of other countries. The question I've gotten from many of my clients before is, if this tax saving strategy is so good, why hasn't my accountant told me about it yet? Your accountant is simply there to give you the best optimizations that apply to your situations for that tax year. For example, if you only have a residency in the United States, have a business registered in the States and have a bank account there, your accountant will come up with a strategy with those limiting factors in mind. Some of their recommendations might be setting up an S corporation or buying depreciable assets that can be written off. These are all commonly accepted practices in the United States. However, 90% of accountants are only knowledgeable about US tax laws and are uninformed about tax laws in other countries. Thus, they will rarely ever mention tax saving strategies that extend beyond the United States and will stick to giving you the same advice as everyone else because that's all they know. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's actually talk about the strategy. This strategy is called citizenship by investment. Citizenship by investment involves you getting a second citizenship in a country with advantages tax laws. The buy investment piece of the expression comes from the fact that the citizenship comes at a price. You'll have to make some kind of donation to the particular country to actually see this through. For example, donating to the government's economic development fund, or you can even make a real estate investment. There are many countries that offer this and many of them happen to be located in the Caribbean islands. A few of the countries on this list which you may recognize are Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica and St. Lucia. You're probably wondering why any country would want their citizens paying zero taxes. So let me explain. Since many of these countries are still developing, they introduced the program to incentivize wealthy individuals to invest and stimulate economic growth. This creates a win-win situation for both the developing nation and the individual. The nation receives a sizable investment and the individual is able to reap the benefits from such country in terms of zero income tax and access to offshore banking opportunities. So now you're able to see how this program, which not many people are aware of, has created a massive opportunity American business owners and entrepreneurs to protect their wealth. Well, how is this different from moving to another country with more advantages tax laws such as the United Arab Emirates? For Canadians or even Australians, it's true that they're able to take advantage of the Emirates liberal tax laws as long as they stay out of their home country for more than 180 days. However, the rules look entirely different for US citizens. What most Americans don't consider when moving overseas to places like Dubai is that in order to fully reap tax benefits, you have to give up your United States citizenship entirely. If you just move to Dubai without revoking your US citizenship, you will still be bound to US tax laws and regulations. Therefore, the only way for Americans to fully benefit from tax-friendly policies of countries such as the UAE is to leave the United States entirely, which most business owners are not comfortable with. This is the real benefit of citizenship by investment as it allows you to gain the tax benefits of other countries and with the process to go about this only taking around six months at the longest. So how does someone actually go about getting one of these second citizenships? For starters, you're going to need a lump sum of money that you're comfortable spending. These citizenship by investment opportunities generally require somewhere between 100,000 and 200,000 US dollars. As mentioned earlier, you'll have to make some type of donation or a real estate investment, but this will vary from country to country but generally the most cost effective option is to donate straight to the government's economic development fund. After that, there will be a decent list of paperwork that needs to be submitted to the government to make sure you're a good fit to be a citizen. You'll have to provide your social security information, your birth certificate, government ID, as well as a host of other supporting documents such as proof of funds. The entire application process generally takes around six months. This is where many business owners will get cold feet because the process is tedious and takes a bit of time to complete. And I don't blame them. It can take up a lot of mental bandwidth and seem annoying to take care of while running a company. However, they don't realize that their stubbornness is costing them hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars a year. I realized that there were so many stubborn business owners who just simply didn't want to make the time for this, 
which is why I started offering my services to the public. My firm and I have clients across the technology, entertainment and healthcare industries that all say they would have never have followed through with this had they not had someone else take care of the entire process. You could try doing this yourself. However, if you've been telling yourself that for the last few months and still haven't prepared that first piece of paperwork, it may be time to reconsider. So if you're someone that's looking to save money and taxes through citizenship by investment, I'm going to leave a calendar link in the description below and we can discuss something like this would make sense for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.